Hello. Today we're going to talk about QImage Ultimate and how to email your favorite photos to your family and friends. Well, we have two ways to do this in QImage Ultimate and we'll show you method one. First thing is obvious, you have to select the photos that you want to email. Well, we'll take this guy and then we'll hold the control key and we'll click on the second one. Holding the control key is a standard Windows feature allowing you to select multiple items. Okay, now we right click and we go down here and it says send via email. We're faced with a box now that's asking us what size do we want to make our downsized images. Well, logic says that if you have a whole bunch, like 10 or 12, you want to keep them a little on the smaller side because the email will get too large and it takes longer to upload and download. But if we're dealing with two images, like we are in this demonstration, we can take a little larger size, so we'll say 1024 by 768. I give that a click, and QImage is processing both of them right down here on the bottom. And now it's asking me, are you ready to compose an email? I say yes, and lo and behold, my live mail from Windows 7 comes up all by itself. And all I need to do is insert the recipient's name or names in this box, click send, and it's all done. It's as easy as that. Okay, I close this up now. And let's see, where did QImage put those two downsized images? After all, it created them, it must have put them someplace. Well, let's click on folders and have a look. QImage Ultimate makes a subfolder right below the folder you happen to have been in when you created the email. So we look in this one and it's called Q Email. Give it a click and there's our two downsized images sitting there nice and peacefully. Okay, let's go back to our main folder, close the box up, and let's go to the second method of sending emailed photos. Well, we click on the plus sign here, that sends the image over to the right into the queue and we'll click on that one and now we have two images in the queue and we're ready to send those out with method number two well we just right click in the middle of the pictures go down to the bottom say create email web size copy and we have a similar box with a few more options in it but basically the same kind of box and it's asking you what size do you want to use. You can type in a special size if you want. And then we have three optional check marks. Well, the first one is saying OK to convert to a RGB color space. And that's a useful thing. Generally, you leave it selected just like that because most people are going to see the images on their screen and that's where it should be. The second check mark says honor print crops and stamps. We'll get to that in a moment. And the third says send via email. Okay, well I'm going to uncheck this because you've already seen the uh, email box pop up and you know what that looks like. So let's go ahead and say go. Alright, so I give that a click and QImage Ultimate is processing those two images again and it created the email web copies. It didn't open up the email because I told it I didn't want to, but let's see what happened to them. Okay, now we did it before and we did it again and we should see four, but we're only seeing two. And the reason for that is that every time you create email web size copies, QImage deletes the old ones and replaces it with the new ones. That's done intentionally so that you don't accumulate tons and tons and tons of emailed size photos stuck in a folder. Okay, now we'll continue. Let me get rid of these two pictures here and put in something that has a little bit more of a view for you. I'm going to put this picture in here. Now this is set for an 8x10 print. Okay, I'm going to right click and say Again, create email web size copies. And if you notice, this second one here says honor print crops and stamps. Okay, let's see what we get. We'll click on go. And it's going to process this one image. Have to have a little patience. And now 
again the email box won't open because I have it unchecked but let's have a look and see what happened we're going again into that stored email place you can see the flower pictures are gone QImage deleted them and here's our downsized copy of the image that we have up in the upper right hand corner okay back we come again to that same folder and this time we're going to say create an email web size copy and we're going to take out the check mark where it says honor the crops and stamps and we're going to say go and you'll see the difference okay let's give it a moment to process these are raw files so they're a little larger than usual and now we're going to have another look in that same place and we see here if you look very carefully that we have the moon showing over here you can see that very clearly up in the upper right hand corner I'll hit escape to get rid of that and we look over here in this picture in the upper right and there's no moon that's because it's been cropped in order to make the 8 by 10 size we needed but when we told QImage that we're going to email it and don't honor that crop it followed the instructions and gave you the whole image in the email okay I'm going to take us back to the main folder close that up and now you're probably saying well gee whiz supposing I wanted to use this and I wanted to make a folder full of downsized copies to make a slideshow or send away to a friend of mine a whole bunch of them and I didn't want to do them all in one time I want to save them up and send it to them all at one time put them on a disk whatever I wanted to do well QImage allows you to do this with no trouble at all here's the way it's done let me just put another image in the queue just so we have more than one okay like that and I'm gonna say right click and again create email web size copies well there's our box now if you don't put anything in the output folder that's where QImage puts, the, puts it in the automatic deletable folder but let's say that you wanted to save them in a special place well you could browse and select the folder or you could just simply type C colon backslash oh slideshow okay just like that and say go now it wants to know is it okay to create a new folder named C colon backslash slideshow tongue twister okay and we say yes and now it's converting those two images okay and we'll be done in a moment and you'll see that it's saying to you now do you want to go and look at that folder you say yes okay there it is we've just put those two images in a special folder that will not be deleted later on okay let's go back here and find our images again okay all I have to do is click on this Q email thing again and you'll see that that picture was not deleted you remember the one with the moon up in the corner so we created two downsized copies and we put them in a special folder and if we wanted to add ten more it would not be erased they stay in there and everybody's happy okay so far so good okay the last thing I want to show you is that if you decided to add more images just to give you a visual on it and I said okay I'm going to take this out because I want to add to my future slideshow I can click on one here and oh I don't know one over here that I like very much and I got one over here and I put those in the queue I can right click I can say create email web size copies I have no check mark in the send via email I say go and I remember I have my destination queue image remembered it so I just click go and it's processing three images and we'll see where it goes and then you'll understand exactly what QImage does and why it's such a powerful wonderful program okay here we are it says do you want to go look at the slideshow folder yep 
and there we go you can see it didn't erase the other ones it just added to them okay that's about all we have for this trip and we thank you very much for listening and we'll see you next time